Hey guys, it's Kelsey. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be opening up this beautiful box. Actually, it's, it doesn't look too great. My mailman shoved it in my mailbox and like I could not get this out. And I'm like, why would you put this in the mailbox? This is the same size as the mailbox. Um, so I literally, like I struggled to get this out of the mailbox and I was really frustrated with it. So it looks a little abused. Um, but this is the latest and greatest from Jaclyn Cosmetics. Um, I do have handy dandy scissors, so I don't know why I'm trying to tear this open, but, uh, she came out with like blush and bronzer duos and I picked up two of them, two of them. Um, and I think I mentioned this last time, but I love her packaging. Like she does have the little J's on her, her tape, her packing tape. And then Jaclyn's on the inside of the box. Um, at least I think I got two of them. Yeah, I did. I got, so I got Lilac Love in Top Tan and I got Pink Me Up and Oh Honey. Um, and these just look like the two that I would go for if I reached out for something in general. So we will see which one I like the best. Um, so the packaging is really pretty. They look like this. Uh, light behind it is a little crazy but that's okay so they look like this um like kind of rose gold um packaging um so this is lilac love that i'm opening first and it does tell you i guess i should show you this it does tell you the shades at the top of the box which is nice it says build a flawlessly blended sun-kissed bronzed look with these blurring bronzer and blush shades okay yeah, these look so luxe to me. Like, I am obsessed with her packaging. She did packaging like this for her Valentine's Day collection, which I did pick up. And if you want to see a review of that, you can go watch. It's like a couple videos back. Um, so, I and I do, I have actually this on my eyes, if you're wondering. Um, it is the Jaclyn Light the Way Loose Glimmer Powder. I've been using her loose glimmer powders as like eyeshadows or eyeshadow toppers pretty much since day one. Um, and they're so good. I get compliments all the time on the shades on my eyes. So this is really, really good if you like loose glitter. Um, and then I also have her, um, lip gloss in 24 karat on my lips as well, if you're wondering. Um, so, so far I've really liked everything she's launched. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about these cause Everybody, well, first off, I've been looking for a new blush, but everybody uh, loves some bronzer. And I love this full freaking mirror in here. This is beautiful. This packaging is just so bomb. Um, I was honestly, I liked this one just specifically for this blush. I don't know if this is going to even be a good shade for me. It's pretty light, um, but we will try it. Oh, look, you guys can see everything I've got going on in the mirror. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I love that she's got like the Jaclyn Cosmetics down here at the bottom. The packaging is really nice. It's easy to open, um, but like not too easy where it's going to open up in like your compact case. So like I said, this one is Lilac Love and Top Tan. And I guess, ow, oh, I just pinched my finger. I'm a mess, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to, oh my God, so soft. Okay, so I don't even know if you'll be able to see this. I'm gonna do this a couple of times. We'll go in like three times with that blush and then the bronzer. These are so creamy like and smooth feeling. Okay, so there's the blush right there and then there's the bronzer. So I don't know. I think this bronzer is gonna be a little, a little too weird for me. I really hurt the crap out of my finger. I pinched it like right in the seam of this, like where, right where it opens. <sighs> okay. So the other one I picked up was pink me up and Oh honey. And let's not do that again. Ooh, pretty. Okay. So just like a deeper pink and a little bit deeper of a bronzer as well. So we will do pink me up. And 
And oh, honey. I don't know. So lately I've really been liking, here I'll show you. I've been really liking the um, Fenty uh, blush and bronzer. Well, it's not even a blush. I think it's honestly a highlighter, but I've been using it in replace of a uh, blush. So this is, this is Oh Honey and this is Pink Me Up. So pretty bright uh, compared to these two. So, um, but yeah, so I've been really enjoying the Fenty Beauty bronzer, the actual powder bronzer, not the cream. I did not like the cream <laughs> at all. Um, and I've been using the Kilowatt highlighter and I really, really like that as like blush and bronzer together. So it'll take a lot for me to probably stray away from <laughs> those two things, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that one of these is good. So we're going to go in. I I honestly think I'm going to use the um, top tan for my cheeks just to see um, what I like. And I feel like this is just light enough maybe because this is almost pulling like orange on me. Um, and I don't really like that. So <laughs> we shall see. I will say that like just dipping the brush in, it's kind of like falling out a little bit, but I think it's just cause it's so soft. But it is easy to clean. So if you wanted to like clean this after every use, you could. Yeah, I think this is a, a better shade than the other one would have been for me. I could always do half my face with one and half my face with the other. Maybe that's exactly what we will do, huh? I haven't used a different brush besides my Fenty brush for bronzer in so long and it's just weird like that Fenty brush is so good okay so that is what did I say this was top tan top tan um and now we're gonna go in on the other side with oh honey so we'll just see how they compare See, that's not bad either. This is more subtle for sure. That's not bad. I don't know. They're really both kind of similar, to be honest. This is just a little bit deeper. Got a fuzzy. This is just a little bit deeper than the other one. So subtle, deeper. I don't know. I actually kind of like both of them. I could see it like for two different reasons. Like if I was doing a little bit more of a glam look, I think I would probably use this one. And like this is more like every day for me. Okay. So I really liked those. They're really easy to apply. They kind of like are easy to build up a little bit too. Um, but they also look pretty natural and like seamless and they don't have, they don't like, they don't, I don't think I have a lot of texture. So like they don't show a whole lot of texture either Like the texture that I do have. So that's nice. Yeah. I think these are pretty, I'm impressed so far, so far, so good. So far, so good. Okay. Jacqueline. Um, and then. I'm going to go in, so we had top tan on this side, so I'm gonna use Lilac Love. So it's a blush that's in the same um, compact. And I'm just gonna take this little fluff, fluffy brush and go in with the blush. I feel like that didn't pick up anything.
Okay, that's pretty. Yeah, I like that shade a lot. Again, like this to me is just like a more natural. I think if I was going to do the blush, I would probably do it a little bit more light handed than I did here for like a natural look, but all in all, not bad. Okay. And now to try, what was this? Pink me up, right? Yeah. So just kind of dab it in there. These mirrors are bomb. She did a great job with the mirrors in here. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty. I, I don't know which one I like better though. I think I almost like this lilac love is that what it was yeah lilac love I think I like this side better in terms of blush so far but this is pretty they they definitely like the blush and bronzers definitely go together you know what I mean does that make any sense to anybody I don't know if that made any sense to anybody I'm just kind of blending it in with the bronzers at this point but they're really easy and like soft and gentle to use. It's so pretty. I would like to clean this up so bad. That's okay. That is okay. Um, so far I really, really like these. I'd like to play with them a little bit longer just to kind of get my opinion on like which one I would use the most, but I think they're both really great. I, if I had to pick one right now, I would probably pick Top Tan and Lilac Love, which is this side, just because I think this is, this like matches my skin tone right now. I bet you when I'm a little bit tanner, this is going to be great. Um, but I didn't think that either of these bronzers were going to be okay on me to be honest because well I don't know I've just been really picky with bronzers lately so that's cool and then I am gonna just add a little bit of highlight because you know you can't live without highlight these days um and so I'm gonna use her highlight from her Valentine's Day collection and this is in the shade flurries which is this like gold shade and I am obsessed with this I'm obsessed with this um, so we're just gonna put that right there on the cheekbones. Like, look how pretty that is. Yeah, that's freaking beautiful. Do a little on my nose. Do, do, do. Boop, boop. Um, I will say I would like to like just blend this out a little bit more with like a bigger clean brush so it looks a little bit more seamless, but yeah, those are the blushes and the bronzers and I think she did a good job. Like they're definitely smooth. They're definitely like lightweight and I will give her credit because they are blurring like, I don't know. I think I have pretty decent skin just in general, but like you can't see a whole bunch of texture uh, like you could on some of the other products that I've used in the past. So I give her, I would say like maybe a nine out of 10, nine out of 10. I don't know if I'm going to pick this up over my Fenty stuff. So we'll see in the, the coming weeks and I'll keep you guys posted because if I do reach for this more than my Fenty stuff, I will be shocked because I've been dedicated to the Fenty stuff for, for a while now, for a while now. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like them. Her packaging is absolutely astonishing. Like, I don't even know if that's the right word that I wanted to use, to be honest, but her packaging is absolutely beautiful. Um, like this just looks so luxe and like, uh, so pretty, like you just want to put it out on your counters and 
whatnot or like pull it out of your oh pull it out of your uh your your purse and the mirror the mirror is just so good on this it's already dirty oops but yeah I mean I think they're nice I think the blushes are really pretty but I, I'm gonna definitely say the the lilac love is my favorite blush in here just because it's really subtle compared to this one this one's like a little too rosy for me I think I don't know I don't know I like them I like them I think she did a good job once again I am really thrilled that she's coming out with the I think it's like liquid liquid lipsticks um and I know I mean she had that huge fiasco around her lipsticks and if I'm honest, I got those lipsticks. I still have those lipsticks and mine were not bad. Like mine didn't have anything wrong with them in terms of like hairs and stuff like that, that people were seeing. Um, I haven't used them in a long time, but that does not make me afraid to try her other lip stuff. So I'm really excited. Um, like I said, I do have her lip gloss on right now. So, um, I like it. I actually really like her liquid lips that she came out with for Valentine's Day. So I'm kind of curious if this will be the same formula um, that she released. So I think she also releases a video on that stuff today too. So I will have to check that out. But uh, yeah. So if you liked this review, if you like um, seeing me test out makeup on camera for you, um, please let me know. And let me know if there's anything specific that you want me to try because I am definitely willing to try new stuff. Um, again, I do get kind of set in my ways on things like I keep mentioning my Fenty bronzer and blush, but, oh, uh, they're just so good. You guys, if you haven't tried those, you definitely need to check them out. Um, these I definitely think are worth checking out. If you can pick a shade, um, I would just pick one over the other. And if I'm honest for me, for my skin tone, I would pick up the Lilac Love and, uh, Top Tan. I think this is... This is good. This is probably the closest to that Fenty stuff that I've been using. Um, but they're really nice, really easy to blend, super soft. And that is my opinion. <laughs> so I can't wait to see some of you guys try these to see what you guys think as well. Um, I think she did a really, really great job. And I can't wait to see, see what she comes out with next. So um, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up and also turn on notifications so you can see when I post because I have been posting and recording lots of things lately, <laughs> um, which is super exciting. So I can't wait to share more stuff with you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.